Hello everyone and welcome to Physics Well I'm Adit. I'm Dr. Patil, I'm your faculty for medicine and today I'm going to introduce a very interesting feature which is available to all of you right now on the PW Medit app. Yes, I'm going to talk about clinical corner. But before I go there, let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever come across a scenario where you go to the medicine or for that matter any other clinical subject bedside postings, patient ke saamne khade ho jate ho? patient will say two or three complaints and after that you start randomly asking questions to gather the history randomly kuch na kuch history of presenting illness mein bhar dete hain and then random questions with respect to family history personal history ek se ek point ka koi connection nahi hai and then you present that to the professor and then fir dher sare galiyan milte hain mostly professors even end up saying that you are unfit to be medical students well if that is what you have experienced, you are not the first person. The best of the best clinicians and the best of the best teachers who are teaching you the subject have also gone through this. I am not also an exception. Because medicine or clinical subjects are extremely vast and most of us fail to get a structured approach. With a lot of effort, all of us will end up becoming good clinicians, but of course, it takes a lot of effort. Can it be simplified? Yes, possible. So today, the clinical corner feature that we're going to talk about will help you to make your journey of clinical medicine simplified. How? Let us take an example and learn. PW Medded app, kholo, pe you will see clinical corner, enter into it. Of course, I'm a faculty of medicine. I won't understand anything about any other subject. So let me take the example of medicine. Let us presume that I have seen a patient of pleural effusion and now I'm supposed to gather the history from the patient, do the required examination and present the case to my professor. Let us see how the clinical corner helps it. Now, let me open the pleural effusion. Once I open the pleural effusion, the requisite information that is required to take a good history from the patient as well as do the good physical examination is all available in this section. So now look at this. It begins with history, what demographic data we need to collect, what are the expected cheap complaints of a patient with a pleural effusion. Mostly they are going to be chest pain, cough, shortness of breath and fever, of course. Now how do I arrange those cheap complaints? Of course in chronological order. And then we go to history of present illness. Now history of present illness is where most of the professors catch you for the mistakes. Because for a student it is random information which are placed in history of present illness and it is generally not structured. But this app helps you to get it structured. Right? For example, we spoke about these four possible cheap complaints. So for those individual cheap complaints, how do I structure my history of present illness? Let us say chest pain. We should be explaining the chest pain with the following pointers. What are those? Onset. Ki acute hai, insidious hai, spontaneous hai, traumatic hai, duration. What is the anatomical site? Unilateral hai, bilateral. What is the character? Whether it is sharp or dull aching. Any radiation of the pain. Positional variation. Time with respect to duration. Whether it is continuous, intermittent. Uski severity kya hai? What are the aggravating and relieving factors? So when you present chest pain under these pointers or under these headings to your teachers. It will give a clear idea what your patient is going through. right? And it will help them make a better diagnosis. And similarly as a student, it will help you to structure your presentation. And eventually as you start attending more and more medicine clinics, you will realize that you have started becoming clinician. You have started becoming good diagnostician. right? Okay, so same example, we can also apply for cough. How do I explain cough in the history of presenting illness? Of course, I'll talk about onset, duration. Then I will get into the progression, whether it is currently improving or worsening, whether it is associated with the sputum or not, whether it is associated with blood in sputum, if it is with expectoration, and if expectoration is present, I should also be describing the quantity, color, smell, consistency, and whether it is blood tinged or not. So when I describe all this, right, I'm not I'm not leaving any major room for the examiners to ask questions. What information he wants from the patient, I am providing it in my history of presenting illness comfortably in a very structured manner, right? Same we can apply to the shortness of breath or fever. 
so this structure that you need for the history of presenting illness you get it here in the clinical corner okay then other components to the history like etiological history treatment history and if it is hospitalized course in the hospital stay past medical history family history personal history all that you need is all available here and once you have completed the history the clinical corner will also help you to have a structured examination including general as well as systemic examination so like in general examination we have a pro forma which you can follow for this case and then when you go to the systemic examination the pro forma that needs to be followed including what you need to be inspecting what you need to be looking for during palpation percussion as well as auscultation is all mentioned here of course if your examiners expect you to do other systemic examination you will also be covering that and after that the clinical corner will also help you to pen down the diagnosis in a standard pro forma because the diagnosis cannot be a random answer right sir this is a patient with acute rheumatic fever no the diagnosis has to be again structured so your chief complaints history of presenting illness as well as diagnosis are all supposed to be structured and that's what this clinical corner will help you so how do i present the diagnosis all the key pointers listed apart from that in the clinical corner it will give you some extra edge because if you reach till here during your ward side ward or bedside presentation or if it is your uh, practical examination you have already passed that's for sure but to score some brownie points examiners do tend to give you choices like they do tend to ask more questions if you answer them you will get extra marks those extra edge point are also covered in the clinical corner like for example we're talking about the pleural effusion and in that case often especially pleural effusion patients where it is submassive or massive will often have dyspnea or shortness of breath and examiners may ask you how do you grade or quantify the shortness of breath and you should know that we do not use the new york heart association grading for shortness of breath for respiratory cases we apply that for cardiovascular cases so what is the tool used for respiratory cases this is the examiner question the tool is modified medical research council grading right it is added under clinical pointers under the clinical corner for every scenario or case right and there is a little bit of description so if you want to know what counts as grade 0 what counts as grade 4 we have all that available here so now don't you think the clinical corner makes your case history taking as well as examination and case presentation little more easier if you feel so don't then don't waste your time get into the pw meded app and then you find the clinical corner right on the home page get into it subject choose karo and then whatever topic you want to study it's there for you so happy learning guys